Warning, this is a Katawa Shoujo playthrough. Some content may be inappropriate for kitties. Previously, on Katawa Shoujo. I'm about to, I was about to make the same joke. Ah, a girl on my arm. This is exactly what we were trying to get to. Are you a mind reader? Is that your disability? How unique. Hey, show. this is Akira Satao, my older sister. Okay, so it is a sister. Wanna go see some more of the festival with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Oh, to see. Gotta go see. Oh, ha, 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 I get. Ha, ah, blind jokes. Resting my hand on her shoulder. Oh, we're going there. We're going there, my peeps. Feel my fat. But I'm half Japanese, half Scottish. Yes, I was right. So Shizune and L Lily are cousins? That was a date, wasn't it? Um, well, if you wanted it to be, so kawaii! And our story continues. Hey, everybody out there in YouTube land, Jake, the one-man band, is back again in Karawa Shoujo. I wanted to play some Destiny tonight, but it won't download the update. So, here I am stuck playing Karawa Shoujo. Nah, I shouldn't be mad. This is an awesome game. Love it to death. So anyway, an awkward silence reigns for a few beats. Thankfully ended as Lily's head perks up in a gesture I've come to easily recognize. Hear something? The door. Oh yeah, that's right, the door just knocked in the last episode. Who is that? Everyone looks towards it, trusting in Lily's senses. True enough, the door handle shutters and turns a flash of yellow and black splitting through. Akira! What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Akira Satao is in the house. Happy birthday, Hanako. It's in the house. It's in the house. Thank you. <laughs> Set on down. Akira takes a seat at the table and she plops her tall bag beside her. She has her trademark. Bostieris? Is that even a word? I don't know. Error about her. Making no small deal in her entrance. Hanako clutches her gown to stay herself, but doesn't appear to too shaken after she settles down. I guess she must have met Akira before. And it's not a huge surprise given how close Akira and Lily are. Akira doesn't seem to be the least bit put off by Hanako, Hanako's scarring, despite its uh, prominence. But she also didn't pull any punches on how she acts despite Hanako's shy nature. I thought you said you'd have to work, Akira. Did you manage to get off for a while? Eh, kinda. I feel kinda bad at ditching the guys doing overtime, so I gotta get back soon. Well, you still had to come to the party, that's all that matters. But I feel bad about not coming to your cute little Hanukkah's birthday too. So, for now, I'm here. She grins widely at Hanako, who flowers into a full blush as she pins her eyes downwards towards the lap. Her mouth seems to widen and retract over and over, as if she's trying to suppress a smile out of embarrassment. Aw, oh, those are the cutest smiles. It's a little strange how her reaction seems to be more immediate and forceful than when she's embarrassed by the way she lo looks. All she manages to give in return is a tiny nod, failing to hide her appreciation to any great extent. Not as many people give her positive attention, I suppose. It makes me respect how well Akira can handle her making her so happy, compared to what little I can do. Well, you know, we try. That's all that matters, right? Now then, before I go, she reaches into her bag beside her and grandly displays its contents. What is it? Is it a PlayStation 4? It's liquor! I think. Out comes two large glass bottles, both in long French names on the label. How do you know it's French? I mean, it could be English to them. I, 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 I don't know. Hanako's expression is an odd mix of surprise and curiosity. I suspect mine's too... Mine's no different. Lily, not seeing the 
proceedings is obviously to is obviously oblivious to what's going on. Akira, this this isn't. What is it? Wine. I was right. A red one and a white one. Uh, Akira, that's. Relax, relax. It's not like Shizune's here to scold you. So, underage drinking? I can't really, I can't really personally condone that, but for the sake of the video, let's have at it! Lily has a point, it's not exactly allowed on campus. Or anywhere, really. We're still short of the legal drinking age, remember? Rich words for someone practically drooling as they examine a bottle. She got me there. I am genuinely interested in trying some, even just a little. While Hanako may be, may not be handling one herself, she... Her look does tell me that she's far from oppressed from the notion as well. Lily rubs her forehead, giving up the fight as she, she knows Akira will win due to a simple not caring enough about those funny rules and regulations. Just don't breathe a word to this to anyone in the school, please. I beg you. I'm not stupid, don't worry. That said, I gotta get back to work soon. So soon? But you only just arrived. Sorry, Lily. Good to see you two again, though. And you too, Hishio. See you later, then. Okay, so you just drop the goods and then run off? Why does this theme suspicious? Um, goodbye, Akira. Akira's out! She levers herself up with a grunt and waltzes out of the room, leaving us alone with the two items on the table. Interesting. Lily gives a nervous giggle in her s at her sister's antics as Hanako takes a wine bottle. So, what do you think, Lily? She rests her elbow on the table and pinches the bridge of her nose, thinking things through. She really doesn't seem to be able to keep her up with her sister. Well, it's already here. We may as well have some. All right! We're getting crunk! Once again, I don't condone underage drinking, but for the sake of the video, let's get crunk! Yeah! <laughs> no sooner does she say it than I take a quick glance around the room for some glasses. A small groan above me it reminds me that L that Lily's <laughs> tired to rest on her bed for a bit of a few minutes. Whoa, how much time has passed? Almost completely drained of energy, I managed to stand up and drag myself to the side of the bed, sitting down and leaning my back against it. Good God! <laughs> Whoa, Lily's groan sounds lifeless. Technically, if it was lifeless, she wouldn't be groaning at all. Too much to drink. My head hurts. Yeah, too much to, too much to drink. I'm good to my drunk voice. I rest my head back and idly stare at the ceiling. What an under... An... Un... Mitigated disaster. Like proper idiots, we all drunk the night away, one glass after another. Hanako simply fell to the side asleep. It's a miracle I don't feel as ill as Lily. Hey, shit. I'm sorry about today, but I didn't think this would happen. It's, it's fine, Lily. To tell the truth, I had a lot of fun. A lot of fun today. See, pajamas is a lot of fun. Really? Mm-hmm. I think Kako did too. No, she certainly did, because I'm poking her face. There's a short silence before another groan resounds from the supine lily. Are you okay? As you, as you said, I just, I just drank too much. What's the time? It's... it's happy hour time. Let's have a little drink, shall we? There's nothing left of the wine. I'm having way too much fun with this. The time, but it's... I quickly look at my wristwatch. It's numerals barely legible in the gloom. 
is the, is the problem at night? Curfews in effect then? Yeah, I guess as much. We'll all have to sleep here tonight. Cause that's a good idea. Dude, you're so dead if somebody finds you in the girl's dorm. As soon as I say it, I hear the sheets moving as Lily s starts to stir up. Han Hanako, I'll no go back to sleep. Don't try to get up, girl. Hisho, I have to. You're in worse shape than me at any any stretch. Which way? You get rest, and I will do stuff. <laughs> But what about, I'll grab some spare blankets and pull them over her! Don't worry about it! As I give a deep yawn and stand to retrieve them, I hear her lie back down with a soft thud. Thank you, Hishio. No problem! It's the least I can do. You look outright wasted. You had too much to drink, fans. I'm not... Wasted. I'm just a bit tired. She starts pouting, a slight spur beginning to distort her slur, beginning to distort her words as the alcohol takes hold of her again. I grab a couple of blankets and roll up at the end of, the, of her bed. Quietly walking over to Hanako, I carefully lay the blankets over her peacefully sleeping figure, making sure not to wake her up. The thick smell of alcohol coming off her breath makes me doubt she'll wake up no matter what I did though. I stand and take one last measure of the room. Two girls, both very drunk, mind you, and one guy sleeping overnight with them in a female student's dorm. What a scandal that'll be if it broke out, eh? As I move to sit back down at the side of the bed, I steal one last glance at Lily. Her sprawled, disheveled figure lies resting peacefully, slightly turned to its the side. I crouch down to get a better look. Oh! And it plays a nice music. Her white sheets blends with her white pillow. Oh, I guess they could be white. Of the bed. A look of slumber-born peacefulness on her face. Usually, it seem she seems so confident and forward, always there and caring for Hanako. Now there, she seems painfully delicate. I think back t to Hanako's presence. Though it'd be a nice occasion for her, but I'd hardly expected it to be so moving. One birthday after another, year after year. Just she and Lily, all alone. I guess it wasn't just the presence she liked. She liked me being there, cause I'm a nice guy. Resigning myself to an uncomfortable sleep, I sit down at the side of the bed once again and rest my tired arms beside me. Hey, his show? Lily's voice is so quiet I can barely hear it. She must be on the verge of sleep. Yeah? Be sure to lock the door. That's had trouble before. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. For what? For being here. That's okay. Just go back to sleep. As I hear her deep breath, it's obviously Lily's gone to sleep. After closing my eyes, it doesn't take long for Slumber to take me as well. Time to sleep. <laughs> Ishio. Ishio, are you? Soft, barely audible voice lingers in my ears, slowly wakes me. I wish I could be awakened like this more often. With a mumble, I slowly open my... Oh! Hi! <laughs> You're probably like this, this far away. Probably just like... <laughs> Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Taken by surprise at the face hovering curiously mere millimeters from mine. So it's probably more like this, if you could see that, like that. I make, I make, 
I make our heads collide with a harsh thud. The impact of our foreheads causes both of us to fall backwards and yelp in pain. Lily sir sounds more like a squeak toy than a person. Ow, 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 ah. Uh, I slowly rub my forehead with one hand, supporting myself with the other. Lily lies a few feet away, doing the same. Her face obviously pained. Uh, sorry, your face was kind of close and I acted on, on reflex. <laughs> you okay? So that's the reflex that people should have. If people get really close, you just headbutt them. That's what you do. My head... It seems she's not actually okay. Come to think of it, I doubt that the impact alone is what's causing her head so much pain. That's that's the hangover talking. Hangover. You drank a fair bit last night. She silently nods in confirmation as I lever myself up. I offer her a hand and and help her back onto her fate. Glancing beside her, I find that Hanukkah is still fast asleep. Man, she ain't heard a thing! She's probably just like, she's still conked out from last night. It's not fair. I only drank as, I dr I only drank as much as you did. That's because you're no lightweight, man. You're no lightweight. You can take the shots. You can take the drinks, man. It's fair. Oh wait, that was Lily talking. Well, she's, she's no, she's no lightweight. She can take the drinks. It's very different from what I remember. And anyway, girls have a lower tolerance than men. Th that doesn't help. <laughs> Fine, I'll give you a glass of water. Just be careful not to trip over Hanukkah. I rub the sleep out of my eyes, or at least some of it, as I walk to the counter. Tending to someone with a hangover isn't the way I like to spend my morning. It only takes a few s seconds for the glass to fill. The water, the clear water reflecting the silver of the light makes it through the thin curtains. It looks like Lily's taken a seat on her, on the side of her bed. I walk over to her while taking care to step over the peacefully sleeping Hanako. The place, the glass into her outstretched hands. Thank you. M no problem. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. I take a seat next to her, the soft bed having a, a surprising amount of give. She drinks slowly and methodically. A long silence passes with only Hanako's soft breathing to be heard. So, it's, it's that awkward morning. It's that awkward after morning. Dang, man. I thought, I thought we at least have a few more episodes till we got to that. With some measure of guilt, I look at Lily's face and attempt to read her expression. Her frow, her br her frow is burrowed. <laughs> her brow is furrowed, and she looks to be lost in thought. For a moment, I hesitate, but eventually place a hand on her shoulder in an attempt to reassure her. I didn't expect her to flinch rather noticeably at that, though. Well, because she wouldn't have seen it coming. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I didn't. I didn't mean to. I was. Lily quickly shakes her head in a manner somewhat more violent than usual for her. She takes a long breath to steady herself before letting her head sink. Like, how, how, like sink? Why would it sink? I must look terrible right now. No, 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 you look, you look brilliant, I'd say. You look rather brilliant. I move to protest, but quickly realize that it would be futile to do so. That said, I want her to open up more. If you want to talk about anything, I'm here. I ain't, I ain't no psychiatrist, but I don't charge like they do. Lily gives a self-deprecating uh, snort as if to mock her own emotions. There's just a lot happening right now. Well, yeah, we had a party, we got drunk. It was Hanako still passed out on the floor. I'm sorry for being so strange recently, especially back when we were in town. Even now, I'm a bit confused about everything. <laughs> Believe me, I know. I know how that feels. That first part of the game, it was just, it was just like, bah! It's just like, confusion! She smiles wistfully, resting a cheek on the back of her fingers. We're a couple of broken young fools, aren't we? Yeah, I'd say so. Come on, don't say that. 
come graduation, we'll be back out into the real world. Yeah, the real world. Sometimes I surprise myself the, with the way I think about things. I guess the strange, the worst feeling of Yamaku and the surrounding town compared to the outside world still hasn't become natural. Maybe it will. It's strange, in hindsight, being isolated from society like this doesn't feel as bad as it probably should. A wiry grin on her face, Lily seems to share the same sense of amusement at the idea. Enough, though. Her smile drops. It'll be... I'll be going back to Scotland for a week or two soon. Are you gonna leave us? Why, why would you do that? Is that why you had to reschedule Hanako's birthday party? She gives an affirmative nod. You'll be able to see your family again, at least. You're looking forward... You're not looking forward to it? But Scottish people are so cool! I haven't met my family in six years. I don't even know how to act around them anymore. Well, all the men wear kilts. Um, haggis. Um, golf. And claymores. Scottish. Scottish, yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? My mouth hangs open as I try to process what she said. If she's 18, that means she was only 12 when they left. I may have... Oh, well, this just took a real depressing turn. I may have seen her very little of my own parents, but... What with them both working long hours, but that's... I feel utterly, utterly useless as I struggle to find some way to respond! That's... But... but why? Why did they leave? Or why are they inviting Akira and I back? Were you two like the outcast children? This just got way more sad! What the- we were just getting drunk earlier! It was funny! Both, I suppose? My father's business is at his headquarters in Scotland, and an executive position became available to him there. In the end, he had to move permanently. My mother followed him, but Akira and I stayed in Japan for the sake of both Akira's job and the Japanese branch of my father's company, and my education. As for the latter, one of my aunts is gravely sick. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It feels strange, really. We've been surround summoned there for her, yet we've barely met before. I can't even remember the sound of her voice. Equally strange is the total lack of empathy she feels towards her family for doing such a thing. I can't help feeling slightly humbled. That she, her uh, wistful exterior is just hiding her emotions? Seeing her like this is depressing. Knowing what to do, I lift myself off the bed. Lily notices the bed movements, her head perking up and her hand reaching sideways to feel where I was. Hey, show? I walk over to my bag, still lining against the wall, unbuckling the front flap and retrieving the... Uh, um... Um... Uh, retrieving the bag from within! Because that's the thing that matters. And take a small, plain box in my hands. The music box. Hold out your hands, Lily. She looks surprised for a moment, but eventually uh, acquiesces. The music box, yeah. I'm amused by her look of curiosity when I place the music box in her open palms. Her technically delicate way of handling it makes, me, makes it seem like it is... Uh, as if it were fragile enough to break if breathed on. She wordlessly brings it to the front of her face, her slender fingers feeling out its uh, contours and pattering. Patterning. That was, that was a weird word. Eventually, her fingers find the, uh, res the 
recessed line between the lid and the body of the box, and her thumb ever sleep plops open the lid. Oh, this, this is nice. I take a seat on the bed next to her, watching her face silently and intently. She sits completely motionless as she listens to the diminutive tiny melody, her mouth just slightly open. Oh, well, I like that melody. Can you just play it a little bit longer? I take a long... It takes a long while before she closes the lid with a small snap. It didn't take long at all. Bearing the certain... Bringing the curtain down to a uh, miniature performance placed in her hand. The smile on her face, gentle and wistful, shows that I made the right decision. Yes! Score one. We got one point. Heck yeah. Think of it as a going away present for your trip to Scotland. I will. I read... I restlessly, a restless shuffling can be heard from the floor in front of us, the sound having woken Hanako. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Oh, nothing, we just had kind of a depressing thing. She climbs out of the blanklets, the blankets, the blanklets. <laughs> I put over her, looking befuddled and wiping the sleep from her eyes. I see you're finally up. Hmm? What? What? Hanako looks around the room with her eyes half open, her mind far from being as awake as her body. Her day state makes me and Lily chuckle. As Lily uh, gets off the bed and tends to Hanako, I take one last look around the room. I guess I better get going then. There'll be questions if I am seen leaving the girls' dormitory in the morning. Lots of questions. Goodbye, Hishio. Oh, goodbye. I stand and walk to the door, picking up my somewhat lighter bag along the way. After leaving the room, I looked both ways before I exited. I hear Lily's footsteps behind me. What did you <laughs> I'm ready. What's, what's wrong? Without a word, she strides up to me. I freeze as I feel her hand slide onto my cheek. Oh, she's going in for the kill! <laughs> Seemingly ever... Every nerve taking in the feeling of her fingers and palm upon it. Immediately after, her face slowly moves next to mine. A light, momentary touch of her lips brushing against my other cheek. Yes! <laughs> For a moment, everything seems to stand still. Time stop. I... Absent-mindedly bring my fingers to my cheek as I try to recapture the fleeting feeling. Stay. Please stay. Lily? That's my thank you issue. Thank you? For my present. Have a nice day in school. I am not gonna go to school. I'm just gonna go back to my room and I'm just gonna, like, hold on to this forever. And with that, she disappears behind her door and gently closes it. The muffled voices of she and Hanako audible th through it much as they were yesterday night. Ellipses. I think I'd be hard pressed not to have a nice day after that. <laughs> Walking around and the birds are singing and the sky is blue and I'm feeling oh so happy. I was trying to make a song out of that. I walk away with a certain spring in my step. I look, I think there were some people around that glanced at me emerging from the gr girl's dormitory building, but I find it difficult to get. I'm just like, hey, hey guys, guys, have a quarter. Have a quarter, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. This was, this was like an episode that had like everything in it. Had like comedy, had tragedy, had good feelings. But I think with that, we're gonna have to end the episode here, guys. Because we had the time to flicky. And it just seems like a good place to end. Like and favorite if you've enjoyed. Subscribe, of course. 
and I will see you guys next time. I'm out there on YouTube, but I had to be a nice person, tip your waitresses. Yeah, you!